24th to the 25th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what you guys have for me. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go, Virgos. Here we go. Okay. Let's begin. You have your Seven of Cups. Okay. This is um, an energy of being confused, right? Not knowing what to choose, and there's a lot of choices. Um, in reality, it's called life. Okay. There are things in life that you need to make up a decision, make up your mind. Okay. What do you want? Okay, you're probably a cusper of Virgo and Libra, okay, which makes it difficult for you because Sal, I don't even know if I should react this way or react that way because sometimes I feel like I'm a Virgo, sometimes I feel like I'm a Libra. You're a cusper. Now, how it is, um, mixed emotion, confusing, this is your... Um, you know, your Rahu for me, this is, um, you know, 1-7 for you. There are things that you fear. If I do this, then uh, chances are I'll make a mistake. Okay, so you're scared of making a mistake. Nothing is a mistake, they say also, because everything happens for a reason. Okay? Let me see here. You're probably even just shopping and you don't even know which dress you want to buy. Ah, and I look at that one, Justice card. Libra. Hmm. Just so. Okay. <laughs> They're really good, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> these guys are amazing. So you are can be a cusper. Now, interesting. I don't want to soak in this energy because, you know, it's like, we got to go, we got to go. We got to reach to Pisces, okay? Mm -hmm. You're opposing. So you can be connected with a Pisces and they're being difficult and emotional, okay? Now, this is your partner, definitely. Now, it's not them, it's you. Okay, just saying. Also, this is what they're saying. Um, seventh house, Libra. What's going on with Libra? Let me tell you what's going on with Libra. Venus is in retrograde in Swati. Okay, um, Vedic Sidereal. Let's not, you know, let's not debate on we. What what are we doing here? Is it tropic? Is it is it Western as well? It's been Vedic the whole time. Okay, okay. Now we're clear. Okay, so it's happening in Libra. Okay, Swati transformation from within, an air energy, the farthest star. This person that you're dealing with needs some time out, or you need some time out because it's freaking confusing. Okay, <laughs> they need to clear their minds. Okay, it's like a bamboo. Okay, they swing, yes, to where it goes, but they only grow the way that they're supposed to grow. You got me? Okay. So, with the justice card over here, the reason why they need time is because they need to do that, to make the transformation, to make it happen the right way. Okay. Intuitive person also. This is an astrologer. You can be connecting with an astrologer or you practice astrology. Ace of Pentacles. There you go. You understand what to do. I feel like to accept an offer, not to give an offer. So I'm not sure what they're going to give you, but there's something here. This is my wine and dine. Let me spend time with you. Ace of Pentacles. Minor Arcana for the Sun card. They say also, if it's a Minor Arcana of the Sun card, this is going to be sun in the second house. Not sure what, but that's what they're saying. Sun in the second house. Okay. So you probably have that placement or they have that placement. Okay. Now, here, Virgo. Okay, they're also saying this. If you're a Virgo rising, Virgo moon, just make it to your rising. Okay. It's affecting... It's... Really? Well, that's what they're saying. I have a sun over here. I'm literally looking at a sun picture. They're saying it's affecting your heart. You totally mix emotion. Ten of swords. There you go. See? They want to make it right. They don't want anything confusing. They don't want no lies. They want to give it a rest. Okay. They want to, you know, put things down, you know, lay it to a rest. I'm here to make it right. Justice card is all... You know, like, Sun moved to Libra on the 17th of October. So a lot of people, a lot, it's really focusing on making things right. Putting things into even, putting things into a scale, right? That's a Libra time. And it's just, it's just sitting right now, you know? It's like, it's just getting there. So that's the highlight of this person's life right now. Underneath the Ace of Pentacles. 
Four of Cups, they miss you, they long for you. They want to reach out, but they don't know how. They want to give that offer, but they don't know if you're going to accept. Remember, they're the one that's going to make the offer. You have the Four of Cups. Okay. Underneath the Ten of Swords, Two of Wands. Constantly wondering if you are their partner. They've been thinking, Two of Wands over here. I, if I choose this person, will they choose me? If I choose this person, are they going to accept me? I'm not sure why they have that, but remember, it's a within energy. You got me. Okay. Let me see what's dividing the two of you. Knight of Wands. Okay. Distance can be. This is Sag. Okay. What's dividing you can be studies also. This is Sag. They can be a teacher who has something that they have to go to. Okay. Yeah. Jupiter, okay, is in Scorpio right now. Vedic sidereal. Okay. That can be something that's dividing you right now because it's a revelation of the truth. You could be connecting with someone who's a Libra, Scorpio, Casper. Okay? Because I see Libra and then Scorpio, of course. This person, okay, what's what's separating the two of you right now here? is the energy where if two people okay, do decide because the other person is making it right the other person is wait, waiting for this offer okay they don't know where it's gonna go and how fast it can grow so it's a level of uncertainty which is a seven of cups confusing okay that is dividing you there's something uncertain that you feel that this, oh, this person is always just thinking, always just like, you know, like ignoring me, not talking to me. I don't even know what's going on inside their head, Sal, because they're going through, they're going through transformation within, okay? And that's why it scares you. They're scared also, which is total Rahu. Rahu is, is uh, you know, Saturn is fear, but Rahu manifests, materializes what you've been fearing. Be careful for what you think, it will manifest, okay? So I'm going to continue this reading, Virgo, as two people try to sort it out. This is what I'm saying. Two, two people trying to sort it out, but there's definitely a gap right now. And it's very auspicious, meaning it's happening right now in the Libra season. Okay, And let's see how it's going to work out. Have a wonderful, wonderful 24 to the 25th, Virgo. Link down there in the description box for the extended. I'll see you guys again. Bye.